but at least you came now instead of later. Anyway, my name is Rob. Everybody say hi, Rob. Hi, Rob. Uh, and I'll be your skipper and your alligator wrestler. If you don't laugh at my jokes, your swimming instructor for the next two hours and ten minutes. Right now we're in the endangered rainforest of South America on the Amazon River where things grow larger than life like these butterflies. Now their wingspans are pretty big. They range from 12 inches all the way up to a foot. Pretty cool, huh? Now around here we have Inspiration Falls. We call it that because it usually inspires uh, sensible people like yourselves to go deeper and deeper into the jungle. Everybody say, ooh. Say ah. Uh. Say ooh ah. Ah ooh. Oh, I'm to go there. Well, that's so inspiring. We're going on. And we're changing rivers and continents now. This is the Congo River of Central Africa. It's supposed to be a take me welcoming party up here, but it looks like the party's a little dead. Probably because something scared them away. Should be right around the corner here somewhere. They're trying to warn us with the drums back there. Oh yeah, it was this python over here. Been looking for him all day, all morning. Now these pythons right here grow to be 24 feet long, and they can swallow children whole. Well, I'd love to have one of those. Yeah, I've got to stop at my camp over. Here. Never mind, I've got some uninvited house guests. And you can't leave your front door open in the jungle anymore. Uh, I tried to get that Jeep to start, but uh, it looks like they got it to turn over. Yeah, the jokes get worse as we go on. Now we're on the Nile River, the longest river in the world. Up the head on the left is an African elephant with his big ears. He can hear for two miles away. Oh, by the way, his name is George. That's what I call him. Kind of looks like a George. Mm -hmm. No, maybe not. Hi, George. <laughs> uh, I was over here. I saw a little trick this morning. Watch. Say hi. <laughs> Say goodbye. <laughs> now spray water. Ah. Just kidding. That was my attempt at dry humor. Now, when elephants trample through the jungle, they make paths for other animals to follow. Animals like zebras, impalas, giraffes, wildebeest, lions. Uh, well, the lions are illustrating a basic law of the jungle, survival of the fittest. And around the corner here, we have a native uprising. Ooh. You know, I warned them that that rhino can run as fast as a horse, but they didn't believe me. But I'm sure they'll get the point in the end. Yeah, there's Hina. Everybody say hi, Hina. Oh, wow. Are we having fun or what? Oh, boy. What a way to start out the morning. All right, we're in crocodile country now. Check it out. We got two of them over here, Penelope and Smiley. Smiley's the big one. He's the... Oh, he lays around all day waiting for a handout. Besides crocodiles, there are other dangers in the jungle, like rapids, monsoons, waterfalls. Oh, look, we got a waterfall right here. They're going to smell, uh, smell danger, that is. Like right now, there's a pool of hippos up here. Now, hippos look very friendly, but they're not. They can capsize this boat. Now, I'm going to have to scare them away, so everybody in the front, you might want to hold your ears. So dangerous. Ask my last crew over there in the canoe. Uh, this is where the natives attacked last time, so watch out. You never know what side they could pop up on next. They should be right around the corner here somewhere. Oh, they're over here on the left. Everybody get down. Don't worry about looking stupid. I think I'm doing that for you. <laughs> Here's 
something you don't see very often, the back side of water. Ooh, looks a lot like the front side of water, doesn't it? That's what I thought. This is the Mekong River of Southeast Asia, where the Khmer Empire ruled for seven centuries. They built cities of temples like this one, and this one's been hit by an earthquake. And it's open a new entrance. What do you say, crew? Should we go in? I'm glad you said yes. So from here on, it's everyone for themselves. <laughs> Elephant. It's okay to stare and take pictures. They have their trunks on. Ha, 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 ha. Look at the big shot up there with the private shower and his two little sports down front. Speaking of showers, hopefully we'll get one of our own right up here. Uh-oh. Well, maybe not. Keep going down, but don't worry, we got another one on the right trying to get us in the elephant's sleep but... The good thing is, this one squirts again, so watch out. Uh-oh. Look out, look out, look out! Ah! Oh. <laughs> Too bad. I guess he got so excited he forgot to pack his trunk. Up here on the left, he's the head that's the hillsman of the jungle. As you can see, business has been shrinking. So he's got a special going. Two of his heads for any one of yours, any takers. Parents, think about it. Either way you cut it, you always come out ahead on the deal. This is a dangerous part here, return to civilization, the real jungle, and my attempt to dock this boat. Of all the crews I've had this morning, you are definitely my most. Now you're going to be outstanding. That's outstanding on the dock. Notice we have two docks, one on the left and one on the right. They confuse a lot of people. That's why we call them a paradox. All right, everybody, off your seats and on your feet, and only exit through the back of the boat.